Welcome, Leo, to Bertrella's Intuitive Insights. This is a brief overview of January 15th to the 31st of 2019. Uh, as I was uh, getting into the Leo energy, I felt that signs, you were seeing signs. You're acknowledging, you're noticing, you're giving gratitude for all of these signs. Some of these signs um, may also feel uncomfortable because you're realizing a change of face. As if maybe you've had one face on and now you have to take off that face to put on another game face. And I say that because when you're with different groups of people, how you react at work isn't how you are at home. Leo, that's just not, we wear different hats, let's say. Um, but with the Leo, I feel that some of you are going to have to shed the old ghosts, the old habits, the old energies of that old hat that you were wearing in the past. Now you're a new Leo. Uh, you've been given signs that these changes need to take place. Um, and when I say that, I also want to say that the word forgiveness works both ways. And I feel that some of you, Leo, need to forgive yourself. You're too hard on yourself. Um, uh, I feel that maybe you need to ask forgiveness from others. I feel that forgiveness is the key. And make sure you're standing in truth. In truth. So if you were... Uh, not being honest with yourself, Leo. It could be about the way you feel, about your work, about your relationships. Maybe you weren't being honest, but now you're seeing clear indicators, clear signs that say, hey, I, I need to pay attention to this. I need to put my needs before my wants and, and my desires. I feel for many of you, Leo, uh, you're actually taking to heart your new um, 2020. I feel this is a rare year for the Leo. I, I just heard a caution. Be careful of your words. So if you speak your words, make sure they're honest. Don't um, try to over-exaggerate something just to prove your point because basically that's a lie. So Leo, pay attention to your words and pay attention to others' words as well. Oh, see, oh my goodness, I this card just flipped out uh, the power of words, the power of words. That's exactly where we're at right here. And I feel that that is with some of you that are, uh, you're integrating, either this is a career or a new friendship into your life, pay attention to words because they are completely powerful. I wanna say about, since we're in relationships, Leo, 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 love relationship, Leo. Uh, I came back from holiday and my deck of cards were just mysteriously missing. So I have this deck called Raven's Oracle, Raven's Wands Oracle, and it's by Stephen Hutton. And um, they work very well for me. I am not a tarot reader. I am a psychic medium. I use the cards to merely validate, to not merely. I actually really appreciate them because I could see where they speak to me so clearly uh, just by looking at the pictures. And this is Winter's Throne. And I feel that during this particular time, there is love, I just that came rolling out, love and opportunity coming forward for the Leo during this particular time of January 15th to the 31st of 2020. So let's go on with love relationship Leo. Love relationship Leo, January 15th to the 31st of 2020 love and relationships and we have relationships we have family relationships friend relationship co-worker relationships uh of course lover relationship partner relationships love relationships leo what do we need to know who will be watching this video okay here we go piercing the mist and the sanctuary 
So I do believe, <clears throat> and this will apply to uh, many of you, not all of you. So for many of you, Leo, yes, you're piercing a mist of a new level of a relationship. I do feel that this is something deeply spiritual that leads me to believe that this is more of a romantic level, uh, a deep level living. It could be also some of you are adopting a child because it's a deeper level of love. So with that, uh, Leo, love relationship. Leo, yeah, you've had guidance. This is the signs, another card times arrow there is time associated with this relationship whether this is somebody from the past or you feel that your time is running short now this relationship is connected to time maybe you've been together for quite a bit of time and now it's time to take it to another level time is associated with this relationship and I do feel that it's in a positive nature. Again, I feel that you've seen the signs, Leo. You've seen the signs. You've seen the signs. Actually, I feel that this is a good feeling. I feel that you need to prove to yourself that you could do this as well. <laughs> I see that this is actually a good move. Your strength will be renewed. Um, love relationship, Leo. Here we go. Your mistakes have taught you in the past. And now you're moving on with this future relationship. Oh my goodness. Mistakes teach us. Exactly. 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 And look, I feel that you've seen the signs. You've been waiting for this. You've been wanting this. This is something that you've been desiring. And yes, you're releasing the pains and the ghosts of the past. And you are gonna step out wild at heart, Leo, laughing, loving, and living during this particular time. Career finance, Leo. Career finance, Leo, okay. You, you know, as far as career finance, uh, you know that you have something going on, it's moving forward. Um, it's almost as if, you're not concerned so much about career and finance during this particular move. I feel that, um, <laughs> I could hear some of you, Leo, saying, yes, I am, because it's never really quite enough for them. But for uh, other of you, Leo, yeah, mm-hmm, <laughs> you're good, because your faith and your faith is so much greater than your fear, Leo. So with that, if this resonated with you, I realize how the uh, subscribe and the um, like and the shares are very important. And also a private reading is at patrellasintuitiveinsights.com and all the information is in the uh, uh, block below. Thank you very much and thank you and God bless you, Leo.